This problem, we have to find the Laplace transform of the sine of 2t times the sine of 5t solution. So this problem pretty much relies on knowing a trig identity. So if you have the sine of a, and it's being multiplied by the sine of b, the identity says that this is equal to 1 half, and I'll use a bracket here, and it's cosine of a minus b, a minus b, minus, and then cosine of a plus b. So if you didn't know the identity, uh, it would be a much harder problem. So, um, so yeah, it's all about the identity in this case. So in this case, we can replace uh, a with 2t and b with 5t. So we have the sine of 2t, sine of 5t, and this is equal to 1 half, then we have cosine, and then a minus b, so it'll be uh, 2t minus 5t, right? So 2t minus 5t is negative 3t, and then minus cosine of 2t plus 5t. So 2t plus 5t is 7t. Cosine's an even function, so it eats negative signs. So this is just going to be 1 half cosine 3t. And then I'll distribute the 1 half to the other piece as well, minus 1 half, cosine of 7t. Okay, good stuff. Now we can take the Laplace transform of this. So this is equal to this. So we're just going to take the Laplace transform of this. So the Laplace transform of uh, 1 half cosine 3t minus 1 half cosine... 70. This is equal to, so you can break it up into two different pieces, right? This is one half Laplace transform of cosine 3t minus one half Laplace transform of cosine 70. And then you just take the Laplace transform of each. So how do you memorize the formulas? Well, I know that the Laplace transform of cosine has the s. So I just memorize it, memorize it as cosine has the s, right? Cosine has the s. Sine has the k, right? If you take the Laplace transform of sine kt, that one has the k up top. But just remember that cosine has the s, and, and uh, you'll get it. So this is 1 half. So s, because cosine has the s, and then it's s squared plus 3 squared, so 9. Boom, there it is, minus 1 half. And again, cosine has the s, so it's s squared plus 7 squared, so 49. Boom, there it is. And that would be the final answer. It's kind of a tough problem, and again, really the problem is all about knowing the, the identity. So uh, you'd really have to have uh, either the identity memorized or the identity in front of you to be able to do this problem. But uh, at least being aware that there is an identity and that you can do it with an identity, I, I think is, is beneficial. So I hope this has been useful. That's it.